What's up guys, it's Zach Perna here, and today I wanna to give you guys a rundown on my bulking plan. So what I'm doing now, I'm um, in my current gaining phase, I guess you could call it, and um, running through my day. Let's do it. All right guys, so a little bit of background on what I've been doing recently. Um, just before I went to London, I was cutting. So I was cutting for the Gymshark event and a few other events. So um, I was on a calorie deficit of a fair bit. I was getting um, I was getting quite lean and I was on next to no calories. Doing all the cardio um, and I was getting a little bit sick of it towards the end, but you know, it is what it is and I just pushed through it. Um, going into London, I was still trying to diet over there. So I wasn't unleashing, which I've done in the past and it killed me. I just was eating quite well um, as, as much as I could. And then in the last, week I just not I didn't go all out but I treated myself a little bit so I'm um, getting back from London I kind of needed a break from just the full-on diet training um, just that full-on mentality because I was going I was going so hard for so long so um, I didn't take any days off gym like maybe two days was my days off I mean I train nearly every day overseas so I needed a bit of a mental break and then I think a lot of people um, don't realize this is say you guys out there you come off a, a really like hard diet and you don't give yourself a break, um, mentally you kind of burnt out. So I found for me, I needed a bit of a break to just feel like I'm not dieting. So what I did is I went into just a maintenance phase. So I thought, all right, let's find my maintenance like I've said in my other videos. So I just increased calories from foods that I really wanted to eat. So I was craving salmon, so I wanted those um, good fats and I was craving rice as well because my carbs are quite low. So what I did was I put some rice into my daily food plan, put some salmon in, a bit more red meat, things that I was missing and I just said to myself, I just don't want to feel like I'm, I'm on a diet. That's all I wanted, just to not be so food focused. So I had a couple extra cheat meals per week. I increased food a little bit and I just gauged my body how I was responding and, and basically Basically, I felt like I was getting leaner. Like I just, I, I did nothing. So I thought, cool, there's a bit more flexibility here. Uh, and then I went to the snow for a little bit. I had a few extra meals here and there. And then I realized, all right, I've well and truly exceeded maintenance. It is time for a little bit of a lean bulk again. So I've done this before. I did a bit of a low carb, high fat approach in my, in my previous lean bulk and it worked pretty well. But I found for me, issues with that is I was snacking on fat, like fatty foods way too much. Like the peanut butter was the death of me. That was, that was killing me because I just snack on it all day. So I found that was like kind of like a trigger food for me. So now I'm avoiding like the peanut butters as much as I can because otherwise I'll eat them out of the jar. And uh, that didn't agree with me because I put on body fat like a mother So what I'm doing now is I'm easing into a lean bulk. So I'm slowly upping my calories and I'm training so much better than I was before because I had a little bit of a break. I you know, dialed down the intensity of my workouts and now I'm starting to pick it up again and it feels so good because I had a little bit of time off. Um, whether you want to call it a deload or what, uh, I just had a bit of time where my body could recover and just not freak out and stress about every little thing. So now we're getting back into the serious part of training and diet um, and it feels good. So basically I'll run through my day-to-day -day routine now as well as my food plan and how I'm structuring my training. So essentially with my food now, um, macro-wise if you guys want to know, it's not too high. I mean protein's probably about 170, 180, carbs are about 200 and then fats are around 60, 70. Um, I'm not really counting them from oils when I cook with because it's, it's quite consistent. Um, and I'll show you my food plan, obviously. My training is normal. I do a normal bro split. I rest two days a week and I rest intuitively. So generally it happens to be either before or after legs or back. Um, that's when I need the rest. And so if I feel like I, I need the rest, I'm resting. I don't just pencil it in and think, oh damn, it's a rest day. Um, generally, I do rest after legs because I know that I'm pretty fried at that point, um, even though they're still skinny. So um, obviously, it's not doing any favors, is it? I'll hit everything once, basically once per week. So for example, legs, rest, chest, back, rest, shoulders, arms, for example, like that. Might throw in another rest day before legs and it continues. Um, and that way it keeps me fresh for the bigger muscle groups and I feel a lot better that way. And I've been training early in the morning as well. So I get up every morning, uh, train with, my, with Joel, uh, cause he's gotta go to work. So for me, it's weird. I get up at 4.30 to go to gym and I come back here and it's 7.30 and I'm staying home. <laughs> so um, it's good I got a lot of time on my hands, but uh, I get to train with, with Joel, which is pretty cool because back in the day, that's how it all started. I was training with my brother. So um, we're back in the gym now. I'm trying to get Skafi to come in the mornings with us. 
but um, but he's been a bit of a lazy lazy bitch. So uh, we got to you guys got to get on his back to come to come train with us in the morning. So early morning session, we get it done, and then I'll do cardio still. I'll still do a bit of cardio just throughout the day. Sometimes I break it up into like 20 minute segments where I just go for a quick walk just to break it up, and I feel like it helps with insulin sensitivity. So I feel like I can stay leaner, not because of calorie deficit offset, but more because it's helping me utilize carbs better. I'm getting my body moving a lot more. You're not just training, eating, and sleeping and sitting on the couch doing nothing. Yeah, I feel like you need to be active even if you're trying to build muscle. I still give cardio to my clients in their training programs, um, even if it's just light walking, because that's, that's what I do. So I'll run you through my day uh, from the very start, my morning routine, all the way through to night, so a full day of eating, and I'll show you guys essentially how I'm structuring this current bulking phase. So get ready to see a very tired Zach in three, two, one. Good morning guys. So it is way too early today, but that's normal. Making a pre-workout meal to change it up a bit because I'm hitting a leg. So I thought I'll uh, see how it goes, experiment with a little bit more in the tank, see if it's a better or worse session. Some people get tired on carbs, but it might be, uh, might be good. So I'm gonna give this a go, just a little bit oats. Very tired today, very tired. So there's not a huge amount of um, carbs in this, is about 40 carbs and about 30 protein as well. Just to see if I feel any different training with or without food in the system. If I was doing something like arms, definitely wouldn't need to, but legs, I feel like, I, I think I need just a little bit more. So this should keep me going. So I'm gonna smash this down, and then we'll see you guys back here for the post-workout meal. Okay guys, so post legs, dead. And we are going back with the rice flakes and cinnamon, some frozen berries, and scoop of ice with banana. So this is, very low fat, we should put some honey on as well. Very low fat, um, pretty high carb, high protein. I haven't had this in a while, I've missed it. If you haven't had rice flakes before, you probably think you're eating glass because they're like super crunchy, but if you need to get uh, a lot of carbs in, they're very, they're very dense and they don't have a lot of volume in them. I've put way too much almond milk in there. I got sidetracked and cooked it. Um, you get used to it and they're easy to get down. So if you had to get, like there's 100 grams of rice flakes, that'd make like, 300 grams of cooked rice. So it's it's fairly carb dense. Yeah, get some. Mm. Um, sometimes I've been having uh, like rice bubbles instead of this if I want a bit more volume because that'll fill up a giant bowl. Um, but if you need to get, like I said before, if you need to get more carbs in, very good option. So this will be essentially the first main meal um, and the most carbs as well. Mm. And check out meal two. Ooh, that looks good. Bear, how good does that look? Yes. So, second meal of the day, we've got some beef mince. This is the teriyaki beef that I made. I actually posted this on my last video. Um, one of the recipes that I made up, very nice. And it's, again, it's pretty low in fats. Um, we've got a lot of rice here as well, so about 250 grams of cooked rice. And we've got the beef mince, obviously, too, in here. So meal two, it's pretty high in carbs, pretty high in protein as well, because we've got the beef mince and the white rice. Um, and it is quite low in fats when you think about it because it is lean beef mince and I didn't actually cook with any oils here. Um, I kept that to a minimum, um, just like the recipe that I posted yesterday. So this is one of my favorite meals, absolutely love it. And it is only like 12 o'clock now, so this is like, this is my technically second or third meal. Uh, but if I get hungry later on, I'll cook something in about three hours. So this will just keep me going. And we'll see you in a bit when I do some cardio. So I was gonna go for a walk outside, but uh, it's freezing. So I thought stuff it. I'll come in here for 20 minutes. Um, I'll do 20 minutes now, and then another 20 minutes after my next meal, I think. So it just depends if I'm working from home like today, uh, and I'm not getting out anywhere, then I like to go for a couple of walks throughout the day. So just two short 20 minute walks, uh, and that'll be my daily cardio done. So like I said, I feel like it helps with insulin sensitivity. I definitely feel a lot better being more active. So um, it stops me from being a couch potato. Essentially, so we've got about five to five and a half k's an hour, and just a moderate to flat incline. So it's not too crazy. Don't want to be out of breath, dead. So the next main meal, we've got some steak and rice. It's very easy, it took like 10 minutes to whip up. Um, I was feeling kind of hungry, so I added a little bit extra rice in there. Um, and this will definitely keep me going from now until like dinner, I guess. Um, so if I'm training in the morning, really early especially, I get super hungry throughout the day. That's what I've been noticing. So to have just one meal as lunch and then dinner, I can't really do it. I need to, I need to have like a, 
that like a mid morning, like the beef mince earlier, then I need to have something more substantial now, and then that'll time me through in a few hours where I have dinner, and then I'll have a before bed meal as well. Um, some days, like on rest days, I wouldn't, I would have one less meal, so I wouldn't need this. Uh, but training days, especially legs, I need all the calories I can get. So, not too much protein, not too many carbs, just a um, bit of a, a happy medium. So for dinner, we've got a salmon fillet with stir fried veg. So this is the same uh, stir fry sauce as I did for the lunch, just because it was easy. Um, and I don't really have carbs with this meal. I don't like to have carbs with dinner, I just keep it protein and fats. And I like to get the fats from a really good source. So that's why salmon is so high in omega-3s, um, anti-inflammatory, uh, good for insulin sensitivity, and it tastes amazing. So it's one of my favorite meals lately, is the salmon and veg. It's even better with rice, but not tonight. Just um, no carbs tonight. Delicious. I'm gonna smash this down. And finally, last meal, we've got some low-fat Greek yogurt with cottage cheese and half a scoop of isopept. Uh, I dice up an apple as well and chuck some cinnamon on top of that and some walnuts. And it is actually the best, the sweetest thing. Isn't it, Bear? Yes. So that is the last meal. Time to smash it. So there you have it, guys. That is my current bulking plan. I am about a week into it, so, so far, so good. Um, I'm aiming to get stronger, uh, more reps, or a little bit more weight on most lifts over time. Not every single week, because that's not really doable, but over time, it's in the back of my mind. Um, keeping my form the same, you guys know the drill. Otherwise, I want to bring up a few weak body parts, definitely calves. I'm going to hit those bad boys about two to three times a week. Um, I want to bring up my rear delts as well, because I've been told I have no delts. And I also want to bring up my traps. So I'm going to put a bit of trap work in there with shoulders and back. I'm gonna put a bit of extra rear delt work in there as well and um, see what happens. Hopefully we can do something. But uh, otherwise, that is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Just keeping you guys updated on where I'm at currently. And if I get a little bit soft and fluffy, uh, you guys know why. It's, it's about that time. It's winter here, it's time to rug up and um, get that winter coat on. So, so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about bulking you want me to cover, um, because I'm more than happy to do it in another video. But otherwise, that is it for me, and you guys know what to do. Stay mad.